Hello and welcome once again to a Japan Crate Unboxing, a premium edition. And this time it's also something special, so two months in a row, row we've had like some themed stuff which is pretty cool. And uh, as you can see this is the 15th anniversary of Katamari Damacy, which is a video game about rolling stuff up until it's a bigger thing and then sending it off to the to the stars where the king of the cosmos will like use it as stars. It, it's, a, it's a very weird game concept, um, in fitting I suppose with the art style. So yeah, the, the box as you can see is also themed, it says premium on the front. On the side we have the um, social media links, on the back it says it's the 15th anniversary, and on the side is the website which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Now also on the bottom, this very cool little bit of uh, art of um, can't remember his name now, but rolling the sticky Katamari ball. Um, so I will level with you guys. I never actually played much Katamari. Um, because, if I remember correctly, the, uh, the game came out the very same week as Shadow of the Colossus. And I kind of had the choice of uh, one or the other. I chose Shadow of the Colossus. I do regret it. I, I do intend to play a full Katamari game one day. Maybe. It's one on the Switch, I believe. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, that's not what you're here for. What you're here for is to see the... Ooh, that's kind of like different as well. That's very cool. Also, yeah, the tagline. Experience Katamari Damacy through candy. Uh, and indeed, we have the booklet, which does indeed say... 15th anniversary, I'm going to flip through the pages really quickly and I'll be right back. Alright, and in the front indeed it just says here if you want to pause it to read, but um, yeah, Japan Crave partnered up with Bandai Namco to celebrate the 15th anniversary of Katamari Damacy. As you can see with the artwork here, it's a very surreal game, uh, but it's pretty great as well. Now obviously inside we do have a list of the snacks, um, but I shan't show you that. Instead we'll just delve in and see what we have. So let's begin. Ooh, yo, there's already a Kit Kat. I believe this is Peach Mint. Ooh, interesting combo. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty standard Kit Kat packet. Uh, I'll double check exactly what this is. This is indeed Peach Mint Kit Kat, and it's apparently designed to keep you refreshed in the summer with uh, flavours like mint, fresh peaches, and a bit of rum cream. Fantastic! I can get absolutely sozzled on some Kit Kats. I don't, I don't think so. But hey, you never know. Uh, right, next up, ooh, we have crab gummies. Wait, is this the crab rave crab? No, uh, ob obviously not. Ooh, wait, oh yo, are these crab sticks actually? Sorry, I, I said they were gummies just because they felt like they were in packets, but they're not. They're um. Oh, they're biscuity things! Oh yeah, they're obviously... Oh, sorry, I thought these were like strands of crab or something. Very interesting. Wait, what does that say? Kani dosu? I think that says Kani dosu. Um, or kan Kanko dosu? Um, either way, yeah, these are like crab biscuits then. Presume maybe crab flavoured biscuits? Uh, oh, very interesting. Alright, let's see what these are then. This is Kani Bisu, and I believe Bisu is um, short for Bisukit. So, yeah, these are crab, um, slightly semi-sweet crab-shaped biscuits. Um, okay, they're, they're sweet, and apparently it's, it's like the Cancer Constellation, which is a crab, I think. I've never been into constellation you think. Oh, yo, I believe we have some fi I was going to say fish, but... Hmm. Or not. Oh, maybe it is. Um, so I had this uh, a few months ago. It's like plum flavoured. Wasn't massive on it, but this is Sukotachi? Ma Makotachi. Actually, Mako. Yeah, that's Mako, not Suto. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. This is like uh, probably fish covered in some kind of mayonnaise cream thing. Uh, that is the fish there. You can see it. I think that's fish. Anyway. Um, Right, <laughs> let's check out what this is then. Alright, two characters are out of four ain't bad. This is Mayo Tara. Um, I was way off. I, I misread that horribly. But yeah, so this is dried fish, but um, comes with a small packet of mayo. 
uh, so you can get a taste of one of the flavours featured in Katamari Damacy. So, oh, I see, right, okay, so the fish, I can feel the fish, and then I can feel like a packet in front of it. Interesting, mayo-covered fish. Sorry, a really loud bike just came by. Um, mayo-covered fish, that's, that's an interesting one, I guess. I'm not massive on mayonnaise, really. I love fish, though, so, you know, ooh. I believe, without even bothering to read that, this may indeed be grape flavour. Oh, yo. These are like cubes. Are these like tofu cubes or something? Not tofu. Uh, what am I thinking of? Let's have a look. These are Natto de Coco Muscat Gummy. Um, and yeah, they're sort of firm gummies with a coconut juice base. They also have the uh, taste of grapes used for raisins, called muscat. Yeah, they're very square, very gummy flavour, and they're a resealable pack. Which I like. Um, yeah, not bad and pretty darn good size as well. Ooh, ooh, we continue the um, cube-based stuff with Kikinotane Tyrol. All right, I'm, I'm no closer to understanding what these. Oh, oh, are these hot? Are they? Oh, yeah. Well, hang on, wait. Is this chocolate with cheese and chili? Uh hang on. Let's see. I think that says Chirori Choco. Could be reading that wrong, but I Chiroru Chiroru Choco. I don't know what Chiroru is. Yeah, these feel like individual bits of chocolate, maybe. It's an interesting one. Um, yeah. Okay, let's find out exactly why this thing is on fire. This is. Kakinotane Tirol Choco, so Tiroru, yeah, I, I, I thought it was Chiroru. But yeah, uh, so Kakinotane are crescent-shaped rice crackers. And apparently they're kind of mixed with milk chocolate, so some are salty, some are spicy, and this bag is like a game since one piece has a spicy centre. This will be an interesting one, maybe, to do in my snack review. Um, although, admittedly, it will mean I'll have to eat the entire bag. Um... Yeah, I'm very much up for that. I do like, um, I am a sucker for things that do like this, like potato chips are like, they're really hot ones. Will you get it? And it's like, well, I, I, I hope so, yes. I really like spicy stuff. Um, oh, ooh, these are already, these are biscuity things. What a big bag as well, yo. Apple flavour, maybe? Um, yeah, the, ooh, all oh, right, okay. So they're kind of circular and the... Yeah, I've had biscuits like these. Are they Danish cookies, maybe, I think? Yeah. Okay, then. Nice. Um, ooh, and they're made by Takara. Um, Takara, as in Takara Tomi? The guys that own Tomi that make Transformers and stuff? I don't know. But yeah, I th I'm going to guess then these are apple Danish cookies. Let's have a look. These are apple butter biscuit. And, uh, yeah, they're sort of... Uh, Light flaky biscuits. They're flavoured of sweet and sour apples and rich apple. Sweet and sour rich apples, I think, would have been the best way to describe these. But interesting apple. I don't think I've ever tried apple flavoured cookies before. That sounds pretty cool, actually. Right. Let's grab. I knew this would be Pringles because I could feel it. Ooh. Ooh, we have. Uh, is this kimchi, maybe? Let's have a read. All right, well. I gave up a uh, suki, ski, I don't know what that says because that's kanji, su, something kanji. Um, I was going to say it's kimchi, but I could be completely wrong with this. I don't know, it's like um, some kind of ramen dish, obviously. Uh, yeah, it's got like tomatoey things or like flowery things. It's quite hard to make out exactly. Um, yeah, well... Okay, let's check out what this version of Pringles is then. These are Pringles Sukiyaki. So, um, yeah, I just, yaki was the part I couldn't read apparently. Um, taste the sweet and savoury aroma of Sukiyaki in these Japanese Pringles. Apparently, the can looks like the King of All Cosmos's head. K kind of, I guess. It's round and so is that. Sort of. Bit of a push, but, you know, they are, they are licensed by Bandai Namco. So I, I can see why. Uh, let's try and grab some smaller things, shall we? Ooh, it feels like a gummy... Oh! Oh, I believe... Didn't we have these before? 
Did we? I think. Oh wait, no. Actually, maybe not. So this is a DIY kit for sure. I think it's quite plain as well. In that you have the base, and I think you put the different gummies. It's obviously meant to look like sushi. So that's Sukiki something uh, for cherry. That is Remon, and that is banana. So I'm gonna say that's probably cherry. I think it's cherry, or, or it's apple, or pear maybe, and um, pear plum. Yeah, oh, hang on, wait, we've got a lovely, very embarrassed looking squid on the back, fair enough. Um, yeah, and the base and the fish equals fish on a base. Base and another fish thing equals that thing on a base. Wow, these are quite involved DIY kits. No, uh, that is actually quite cool though. I is there like a game involved in this or something, maybe? Because, uh, yeah, these are all gummy. They're on like a plastic, uh, you know, soft plastic base. Let's have a check. This is DIY Sushi Restaurant. Yeah, make your own sushi using these gummy candies. Combine flavours, more dynamic sushi. I don't know what goes with which. I've never really had sushi, to be honest. I've had it like once, but... Um, I don't know, just never had really good sushi. Uh, or you can roll them all into one sticky sushi katamari ball. No! Um, <laughs> I mean, it's a good, you know, it's a good idea. I, I like all the fun and stuff, but ooh, ooh. Ah, now I heard this when I moved my box. I was like, why? Yo, I don't even want to open this. This is like a rain stick. There we are, for all my uh, viewers that want some more ASMR action, get ready. Okay, I'll stop now. Um, yeah, it's a very happy orange on top of another orange, on top of another orange, on top of yet another orange. Um, and this is mesmerising, but like, by the sounds of it, there's a ton of stuff in here. There's like, really, really small, obviously, because it's quite a small thing, but... What the fudge are these? This is Chibiko Orange. Um, and yeah, pop one out and small orange mints come out. So they're orange flavoured mints, which is pretty cool. Yeah, well, a very interesting one. I really like the package. Honestly, I really don't want to open this. That's just such a cool sound. Um, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm going slowly mad. Oh, I feel some potato chips coming. I think they're potato chips anyway. Oh, right, hang on. These are by Yamayoshi. Uh, very, very nice. Ooh, cheese. I'm guessing these are cheese flavoured. Potato chips. That's good. Uh, QBB. Nice, like barbecue with backwards, literally. Um, yeah, I'm guessing this is like mature cheddar or something. Um, I think so. It looks very crumbly, though. It could be a cake. Hmm, okay, let's... Let's see what these are. These are baby cheese chips. Apparently in Japan they sell what's called baby cheese, which are like tiny small bits of cheese that you can add to your like bento box and stuff. So yeah, they taste of cheese. Um, I don't know if baby cheese specifically tastes like sweeter or lighter or something. I do not know. Ooh, <gasps> yo, I feel an umaibo. And I believe it is umaibo, because there he is. Umaibo. No, oh, very. Oh, ah! I thought it was Kirby for a second, but no, it is. It's a taco. Yo, this is octopus flavor, I do believe. Uh, hopefully, anyway, that that would be pretty sick. Uh, yeah, nothing on the back. So there he is with two boxing gloves. Um, and then eight boxing gloves. Oh uh, well, no, four, five. What? Hang on, wait. It's got four feet, four fists in the air. And that. That makes nine. Octopi have eight. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm guessing then this is going to be octopus flavoured uh, umaibo. Which I'm all for. I've had a few octopus flavoured things and they are fucking lovely. This is takoyaki umaibo. And indeed, yes, they are octopus bowls. Um, we've got a delightful little image here as well, like a coloured image of um, your dude from Katamari rolling up a ball. Um, and yeah. Very, very nice. I'm very looking forward to that. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? 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 Hang on. Ah. Oh, you. Okay, so these are little star-shaped candy things. I can't for the life of me remember what they're called. 
Kohiberi Totsu. Okay, anyway, they're like, um, they're like hard candy things. They're star-shaped. Um, and the only reason I know about these, oh well, the thing that reminded me of them recently, I was watching Bleach and um, Toshiro mentions really, really liking these. You know, like an old woman in Karakura Town, I think, that gave him some of these. Yeah, oh yeah, well, I've actually wanted to try these for a while because I've seen them in anime and stuff, but uh, I think they're what I'm thinking of. Anyway, let's let's have a check. These are Konpeito, and um, yeah, these are the ones I'm thinking of. They're a traditional Japanese candy shaped like stars. They're kind of hard and crunchy. I think they've been around for quite a while. They're like, they're just hard bits of sugar, really. But um, yeah, I've always wanted to try some. It's pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh, this says Choco something. Choco Shimmy, hey! Shimmy Choco, Choco Shimmy, I think they're the same things. So this is the company, I think, that makes the star-shaped ones, but this time they're circular. And presumably chocolate-flavoured. Look at that melting chocolate over those chocolate biscuits. Now I think these are the ones that don't melt on your hands, or it could be confusing them. Let's have a check. This is Shimito chocolate, and yeah, they're delicious puffed, soaking, rich, soaked in rich, rich chocolate. So they're, yeah, they're they're chocolate biscuits. They're very nice if they're um, if they're similar to Shimmy Choco. The sort of the chocolate is very nice, but it's not not too overpowering or sickly, which is nice. Oh, we got a little biscuit thing. Uh, all right, very very small, very light actually as well. I'm not even going to bother reading that, let's just check out what it is. This is Poochie Melon Pan, and um, yeah, I, I believe I had some melon pan in my previous uh, food review. The melon pan biscuits. Ah, the prince. That's it. So um, yeah, the, the name of the little character rolling the ball is the prince, I believe, because he's the king, obviously, and he sent his son down to do all the work for him. Ooh. Ooh. Dress palette. Wait, what? Um, cake? Is this like peach cake? That looks a bit like egg yolk as well. Is this egg yolk flavoured cake? No, le uh, ooh, orange? Is that meant to be orange? That looks like um, peaches or something. Ah, it's resealable. Very nice. Yeah, alright. I'm not sure what that even is trying to... Something goes into an orange or something? Dress palette. I will. And this goes out in October. So, um, yeah, let's check out what these biscuity thing, biscuit cake things are. These are refreshing lemon and chocolate cookies. So they're soft cookies, a sweet and sour flavour of lemon, refreshing perfectly for summer. Mixed in with lemon peels for chewy texture and white chocolate for sweetness. Right, alright then, I guess. So it's, it's lemon. It's lemon and chocolate. But like lemon peel. Interesting. I, I'm, I'm sure it's like perfectly edible and everything. Ooh. Ooh. This is a weird feeling drink. Yo. It's a cat. It's a Fanta. Whoa. Hang on. There's lots of stuff going on. Now my, my, um, my camera's recognising that face. Who is she? Who is she? Um, yeah. Fanta. I'm, I'm guessing. Ooh. Actually, wait. No. I was going to say this is regular Fanta, but it's not. Coloured like that. Who is this cat? Um, Alright then. Interesting. Vitamin C. Yeah, boy. One of those. That's cool. Um, Yeah, okay. W let's find out more about this then. This is Lemon Multivitamin Fanta. Enrich the vitamin C of 80 lemons. That's a lot of lemons, yo. And vitamin B. This drink is not only good for you, but it's also fun to play with. And, um, yeah, if you take a photo with it, um, take a photo in this month's photo contest. Okay, I, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, in fact, here is a photo of me with it now. Wasn't that terrifying? Yeah, actually, I, I happen to have a very good eye thing here, so this matches up fairly well. Apart from the fact it makes me look terrifying. Oh, we've got a few more. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Another motorbike came past. So we got another peach mint Kit Kat. I'll uh, put it that with the first one. Let's see. Oh, I think we have another peach mint Kit Kat. 
Okay, they're just chucking them in loose, I guess. That's that's cool with me. So we have this month's gum. What will the theme be? It's orange. Look how happy that orange is. A very happy orange, actually. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's find out what this orange is. This is crushed orange gum and the citrus pair of a hundred oranges. By God, are these these things trying to outdo each other? Sort of Fanta's like, ha, I the vitamin C of 80 oranges and the gum comes along as like, fool, I have the vitamin C of a hundred oranges. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Okay, that's quite impressive, I suppose. Now, I'll level with everyone. I've left this till the end because it didn't feel like a snack and I accidentally peeked on the thing about what this is. So we're keeping the 15th, Kata, 15th anniversary of Katamari Damacy thing till the end. Wow, ooh, that's, that's a pretty cool looking one. So I'll go ahead and open this actually, I'll be right back. All right, so yeah, this is, uh, it says lanyard, which is awfully useful. Not for resale, well, I'm not gonna sell this, obviously. And yeah, the lanyard itself is really cool. It's really like colorful and trippy, honestly. Um, got some other, Cosmic bodies here, got a star, uh, yeah, got other stuff, 15 years, it says Katamari Damacy and Bandai Namco Entertainment, not for resale, which everyone wants printed on their lanyard, yeah, it's just a very cool looking lanyard, and I think if you turn it round, hey, there we are, we have the earth going up, through a rainbow, up to the stars, and then down again, back to like, the Earth again. That is a really cool lanyard. I now have two, three, three or two, no, two anime themed lanyards from Japan Crate. Um, you know, I may actually, that, that that is appropriate for work, I think, obviously not with this tag on. But yeah, nothing else in the box. Two seconds, just going to take a look at the art inside. As predicted, this is a beautiful inside. Look at those weird, weird creatures. They're all so happy, especially him, who looks like he's chopped off. He's attached Thomas the Tank engine onto his neck. Well done to him, and it says that in the box. Um, so, as always, I'm going to go and arrange this into a very nice thing, uh, and then we'll have a chat at the end. Alright, so, uh, I've put everything in a nice decorative uh, thing. Yeah, I've got to say, this month has been a quite an interesting array of um, snacks, really. Everything, you can tell it's kind of like summer, obviously, because it's warm outside, but also because of all the snacks and stuff. you got lots of um, peach and sort of like fruity flavour things. Not quite as strong on the savoury front uh, this month, I will say. that We had like one potato chip thing and an umaibo stick. It's pretty cool. It is slightly... Oh, actually, and the Pringles. No, okay, well, we were decent on the savoury side, though. Still wouldn't mind, you know, a few more potato -y chip kind of, like, snack things. But still, overall, I mean, Japan Great does kind of go through, um, you know, focus more on sweet stuff. So, you know, that that's fine. Fanta's pretty cool. I am definitely looking forward to trying that, along with, like, the weird amounts of vitamin C in that and the chewing gum and stuff. Um... Yeah, overall a decent, uh, you know, a decent grab bag of Japanese things. Really digging the lanyard. Very trippy, but also kind of weird enough you could you could wear it without people knowing what Katamari Damacy is. Also, digging the box. I'm probably going to turn the box inside out and just keep it as... Oh, okay then, Fanta, thank you. Probably just keep it as a storage box. And yeah, that about wraps up my Japan Crate video. Um... I would like, however, just to do something a little bit different at the end of this video. So, if you'll bear with me, prepare for a jump cut. Alright, so I don't usually do this, but um, I thought I'd just sort of do a very quick um, massive, massive, massive thank you um, at the end of the video. Because I have reached over 200 subscribers. I think this is the um, count as of putting up the video now. I think it's like 200... 205 subscribers or something so that is that is fucking crazy honestly um when i made this channel my my aim was to reach 100 subscribers that was like that that was my goal i thought if i reach 100 subscribers i've done it i'm i'm happy i you know that that would have been amazing but honestly the fact that i've more than doubled in subscribers is crazy also 
the amount of views that my Japan Crate videos have been getting is also very crazy. I know, you know, there's bigger channels that get like on average 500,000 a video or whatever. I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. I, um, <laughs> I've never set out to be a big YouTube thing. So I just like to sincerely thank everyone who's watching this, everyone who's subscribed or liked or commented over the years. Like it's, it genuinely means a lot. It, it's just, you know, it, it's really heartwarming. Um, so yeah, thank you. I'm going to end the video here. Um, if you want to, you know, watch other things, uh, obviously feel free. I'll put a link at the end of the video. And until next time, goodbye.